Hello beauty queens, I'm back with this video that you see here and today I'm going to be using the Vice palette that you just seen me haul in a recent video. So if you like videos like this, please continue to watch, okay? Alrighty, so first things first, we're going to get started and go ahead and prime our eyelids. I didn't have my uh, paint pot next to me, so I went ahead and used this concealer here from MAC, and we're going to go ahead and put that over our lids, okay? Next, we're going to go in and just take our fingers and just blend that color out really, really well, okay? Then we're going to go into our Lorac Pro Palette and use that cream color that you see there and put it all over our lids, and that's just going to set that concealer into place, okay? And then make it easy for us to transition the colors. Next, I'm going in with this Too Faced Lip Injection um, lip gloss like type of thing and I'm gonna go ahead and put that all over my lips and it does uh, help plump the lips okay so next we're gonna take our vice palette here and the first shade we're gonna go into is this orange burnt orange looking color I'm gonna use that as our transition color and we're gonna put that all over our transition area in the crease okay Next, we're going to go in with this dark chocolate color here that you see, and we're going to use the brush that the actual um, palette comes with, and we're going to use that uh, blending part of it. It's like a dual fiber blending brush, and we're going to use that in our crease area. It fits perfectly in the crease and getting that color right there in the V area. Alrighty, next we're going to go in with this gorgeous green color and this is going to go all over our lids and I'm just going to pack that on our lids using that same brush. It's a duo brush. So on the other end, we're going to use that part of the brush and we're going to just pack that on the lid until I get the desired color that I'm looking for, okay? So after we get done adding the green color to the lid, we're going to go back in with that uh, chocolate color and kind of blend out that uh, V area and kind of blend it into the green color, okay? And we're going to also take our fluffy uh, blending brush and just use our transition color and blend that out, okay? Next, we're going to go in with this color here. We're going to use that as a brow bone highlight. And of course, just blend it out some more. And then we're going to just deepen up that uh, outer V area just a little bit and just kind of blend it into the green color. Next, we're going to go in with our Becca primer and we're going to put that all over our face. And then we're going to use our NARS Luminous uh, Weightless Foundation. And I'm in the color Tahoe. And I'm going to put that on my palette that you see here. And I'm going to use a, a foundation brush to kind of brush it on first. And then I'm going to go in with my sponge. And that's the Real Technique sponge I'm going to be using today. Now, don't, don't forget to actually just get your uh, sponge wet and then wring out the sponge, okay? And I noticed after using my Beauty Blender for, I've been using it lately for a little while. And I usually use my Real Technique sponge. That um, the Beauty Blender is it's just, it's, it's like it's no dupe for that. I'm, I just think the beauty blender is like no other but this sponge here is a great great alternative next we're going to go in with our naked skin concealer and we're going to put the concealer down first and then blend out that same area because this concealer does dry really really quick so you want to make sure that you blend it out first and we're going to only put that concealer underneath our eyes and then we're going to go back in with the um mac um prep and prime bright forecast and we're going to use that to highlight all the other areas and underneath the eyes as well. And again, this is in the color Bright Forecast. And we're going to go back in with that same sponge and we're going to blend out that, uh, that highlight. So we're going to go ahead and set those areas using our Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And we're going to use my actual Beauty Blender that I that wasn't clean. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that and just go ahead and use that to set our um, highlighted areas. And the reason we set it is so that it won't crease on us throughout the day and the product won't move around. So 
So while that's setting, we're going to go ahead and work on the eyes a little bit more. And you see me blending that out right there. And then I'm going in with this green uh, eye pencil. And I'm just going to line my, um, my lash line, my bottom lash line with that uh, liner. And I'm going to also set that liner into place with that same green color that we used on our lids. I'm trying something different today. I know I normally don't touch my um my bottom eye, my bottom lid area, but today I kind of want to give it a try. And I think I'm still uh I think I still want to stick to leaving that area clean. And maybe sometime I'll switch it up a bit, okay? Then I'm going to go back in with this color here, the transition color, and kind of blend out that green a little bit, okay? Now we're going to go in with our MAC powder and we're just going to use that to set the other areas of our face that we did not set with the Sasha Buttercup powder. Now I'm going to set those areas first and then I'm going to take that same brush and sweep away all the rest of that Sasha Buttercup powder that was just sitting there, okay? So now we're going to go into our Anastasia Beverly Hills contouring kit and I actually customized this uh, kit myself and we're going to use that middle color to just kind of get us some definition going and we're going to use that to kind of contour bronze, you know, a up a little bit. After we bronze up the skin, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. palette. And you guys, I love this palette. I'm going to go purchase the lighter one as well. I love this blood. But let me tell you, you don't have to use much. As you see, I overdid it here. And I'm going to try to blend that out later, okay? But now I'm going to clean it up a little bit with my Sasha powder again. And I'm going to take that same uh, beauty blender and just kind of clean up that area just to make it a little sharp because it was a little messy. And now we're going to go ahead and contour the nose a little bit. While that is setting. And then we're going to put on these lashes. I stacked these lashes up. Just some little cheap lashes I stacked. Then I'm using the Becca Opal um, powder here. And we're going to use that to highlight with. Now, after we're done highlighting, I'm going to take my fluffy uh, powder brush from Real Technique. I love this brush, and uh, it's it's perfect for just using this for all over, just to blend out the whole face once you're done. And that's what I'm going to do, and also sweep away that powder that we used to clean up that um, the contour blush area. Okay. Now, once we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and take our MAC Fix Plus and we're going to spray that over our entire face. And what this does is kind of helps the all the powders that we use just to kind of mesh in with our skin so it won't look so powdery. Then I'm going in with Night Moth and I'm going to line my lips up with that and I'm also going to fill in my lips. Now, you guys, be very careful with this and take your time when using a dark lip color because I will mess up on here and I'm going to try to fix it as well. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to clean it up and then I'm going to go back in and set it with powder so just make sure you be real careful when you're using a dark lip color like this because it's really really hard to clean up once you made the mistake okay well I won't say it's hard to clean up but it's very tedious to clean up um and, and you'll be kind of looking at that all night so just don't make the mistake just take your time okay then I'm gonna go in with this color from ColourPop it's in the color LAX or LAX I'm not sure which one it is and after I do this I'm all done so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give me a big thumbs up comment below if you want to see anything uh, in the near future with another look and I'll be sure to do so okay and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like this video as well okay big kisses to everyone and I hope you have an awesome holiday okay